Now, food processing and packaging firm Samba Foods is expressing worry over the inability to acquire raw materials from farmlands for production. The company, which was, first, uh, was the first indigenous firm to list on the Ghana alternative market, serves mostly the fast food companies, but it says the increasing number of middlemen in the sale of farm produce is a major challenge. Chief Executive Officer uh, Leticia Osafo Ado spoke to Joy Business after presenting the company's 2019 financial performance to investors at the Ghana Stock Exchange's Facts Behind the Figure series. Samba Foods recorded an impressive performance last year with a growth of about 60%. This is as a result of the installation of a new machinery at the factory. According to the CEO, Leticia Osafo, her outfit has depended on the market for capital since it listed on the Ghana alternative market. Speaking to Joy Business, she expressed worry about the impact of increase in price of raw materials on its operations. Things were actually moving. The only thing that was hampering our production were... The, the cost of the raw materials that had escalated last year but that is with all agricultural products you know they sometimes they are in season other times too they are not in season and it becomes uh, uh, very expensive mm -hmm. yeah what's your relationship with the farmers in getting some of this raw uh, as i also explained at the moment due to storage capacity we are unable to go directly to the farmers we have to depend on middle Men, because we, the volume that we are buying is not that much, because we can't store it. But once we are able to get enough capa uh, storage capacity, we'll be going directly to the farmers, give them contracts, contract farming for us to produce all what we need for us. She has also been speaking about the expansion of the company with the present of a new factory. It's an urgent need of expansion uh, uh, that, uh, that is relocating to our own. Uh, land or uh, um, <coughs> land in Tema, where we want to build a customized real food factory that will encompass the laboratories, the proper storage facilities, and of course, to house everything. So the, we were thinking about the um, building and equipping a modern state of the of the art food processing facility. On our three, we have about 3.5 acre land in Tema. Uh, that's around the Accra Aflao Motorway runabout. All the feasibility study and drawings have been completed. The project is yet to be awarded once uh, uh, funds become available. Summer Food is also requesting support from government to help alleviate the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on its business. And there's a full bulletin of business news at the top of the hour on the marketplace up next sports.